Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Dex, and today I'm bringing you a commentary on the Carnage Clan channel. Now today I'm actually going to be talking over Carnage Chris's hex camo on the map Whiteout. Now if you guys enjoyed this gameplay, please make sure to leave a comment and tell us what do you guys think of us uploading the other maps. Now I know you guys, you know, have kind of been getting a little bit tired of uh, free fall, you know, hardcore. Uh, so I thought I would bring you, you know, not me. I thought we would bring you something a little bit more different that you guys are not as unique to seeing. Now this map actually is Whiteout. My my personal opinion it's a very slow paced map but Chris did amazingly you know on this map and he made it look somewhat fast paced and very very enjoyable to watch now guys the goal for this video is 500 videos but before I talk about that little goal if you guys could go check out Chris in the link in the description that would be appreciated as well if you could check me out I would appreciate that as well you know commentating does take a little bit of work and so does getting these gameplays so we always appreciate it when you guys check us out but today I actually have a commentary and that's talking about the maps in Call of Duty Ghost. Now personally, you know, a lot of people really don't like the maps and especially the DLC. You know, the DLC maps are pretty good, but a lot of people have a lot of things that they don't like about them. And one thing I'll have to say is Ghost, I mean, as people as much as people try to say that it's not really a fast-paced game, it is in a way. I mean, there's like high high traffic areas where people are running through constantly and there where you can always pick up kills, such as, you know, like, um, what is it? Uh, Strike Zone Blitz. You know, that's a very fast-paced game mode, but, <laughs> but that's just simply because it's Blitz. Now, what I think they need to do is I think they meet, like, they need to make the maps... They need to keep them the same size, but then they need to take out some of the cover, some of the hills, so that way that it doesn't try to influence camping. You know, I don't really have a problem with anybody that camps. It just kind of annoys me when I'm playing against them. And, uh, you know, just basically make influence on the game. I mean, if there's a lot of head glitches, obviously people are going to use those head glitches. You know, it's just simple things like that, you know, and also try to make more high traffic areas, such as, you know, the action being around the middle. Or uh, one easy way to do it would be like, you know, a flag on B and then kind of B like as close to C, you know, C is a little bit to the left of B. Uh, that would be a way to, you know, just make the game more fast paced. Uh, so my general opinion is I think the maps, you know, if they were smaller, the game would be a lot better. But I don't have a problem with how they are now. And actually Ghost isn't too terrible as much as I, you know, try to hate on it on Twitter and things of that nature. It's not too bad. Uh, but anyways, guys, my name's been Dax. Please make sure to go check out Kando Esports in the link in the description. And also, guys, I hope you enjoyed this commentary. If you could check me out in the link in the description as well. I do post commentaries as well as gameplays over other Carnage members and various other people's uh, gameplays. I just commentate. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm out. Peace. Who a piss to me? Never been a paraplegic game with TD feeding, so I guess all that's left is victory. Damn right. Bring heat in the six degree and dare any other nigga try and bitch at me. I walked in white shirt, black chase, no heart, and I left that bitch with a crimson team. This is your worst fear. Let me make my words clear. The walk feels so good, you get blown away. So sweet dreams, your heart extend that beautiful death.